Hello, hello, this is Mystic Moho. And I come to you today with a Divine Masculine read. So Divine Masculine is all up in his feelings cause he been cheated on, okay? All of those things, the ghost lighting, the being with other people, the putting them in third parties, the comic is saying, mm, that's why I'm over here cheating on you. Because you broke. Okay. So, yes, we wants to know what is going on over here in these comic communities and things. Why is there is cheating going on in this comic relationship? What is going down in comic town? We would like to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you. And, excuse me, Coco, you had better stop. I don't know what you're doing over there, but you better stop. I don't know what you're doing over there, little fat dog, but you better stop. Thank you, Chloe. Okay, since Chloe wants to interrupt. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energies of knowing. We would like to know why and what is going down in Comic Town. We would like to know, Holy Spirit. Guys, we want to know these things. We would like to know these things. What is going down in Comic Town? What is these energies that is going down with Divine Masculine? Why? Is he in the energy where he's been cheated on? And the energies that he mirrored to the film is now happening to him. Yes, we would like to know. Okay, so our masculine is in a six of swords energy. And when one is in the uh, six of swords energy, they are going through adversity. They are going through a lot of adversity and problems are coming their way. And every time that they combat one problem, here is another one. They also is becoming unfavorable to those around them. The people around them is now in the energy where they cannot trust them. And or any proposals or contracts that they have been in, they have are now in default. They are now overwhelmed with guilt. They are over now over overwhelmed with guilt, and they are now in crisis mode because they do not know how to overcome that crisis. Okay, so what is the other energies is going on over there in Comic Town? Oh, they in death energy. Mm. Mm. They in an energy where they are going through things that they did in their past. They are going through things where they cannot put their past behind them. They made a deal with the devil. And they cannot kill those energies. And they are feeling like everything is coming on to them at one time. They feel like death on earth is upon them. Oh, that's what it feels like being over there with the comet. Mm, those energies that you chose, you chose that comet. Mm -hmm. So, Divine Masculine is also in the energy where he's in the Three of Cups energy in reverse. And he's feeling in a lack energy. He's feeling confused. He's always in an energy where he is lied to. There is arguments and misunderstandings. The friends do not want to be around him because the company that he keep with the comic. He's also in an energy where he feels like he's being betrayed and people is turning his back on, turning their backs on them and they don't want to be around him. And he's also in an energy where he feels like he's losing social status. Look, little girl. Excuse me. Papa, why do you constantly have to do this? I understand that you're thirsty and everything, but you don't have to um, keep on moving this bowl, honey, if you know that you're thirsty. Here you go. Oh, God. That pepper. She is out of control. She will move that bottle. 
until it's time for you to give her some water. And the water must not be room temperature. It must be cold. Heaven's off the hook. Anyway. So, today we is going to use the dick dealer cards. Because we wants to know. This dick dealer been slinging his dick right way. And now he wants to get his feelings up into things. So, let's just find out what's going down in Comic Town. And why do this dick dealer feel like, mmm, these things, all these things is happening to him. So we wants to know, being a divine feminine, yes, all the things that was done to me. We want to know what's being done to you, divine masculine. You the one that picked this comic. You the one that picked this energy. We want to know why. Do you feel like you in the energy that you study wrong and you study wrong and you pick the wrong female? We want to know. Mm-hmm. What is going down in Comic Town? We want to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we want to know. What is going down in Comic Town? We want to know. What is going down in Comic Town? Okay. So what's going down in Comic Town? We start this whole thing off with guilt. Divine Masculine is guilty. However, this is in reverse. However, this part guilty. He's guilty for how he treated you. He's guilty he ghost-lighted you. He's guilty he did those things to you. No, you ain't guilty. You just saying sorry because you feel guilt because uh, the same thing is happening to you. And divine, ma divine Masculine wants to come over to Divine Feminine and he wants to steal your energy. This next card that comes out is Energy Vampire. He know you are spiritual. He know you have love. He know you have light, honey. He wants to come over and be an energy vampire. He wants to steal your light. Because at the present moment, honey, he's going through karma for the things that he's done to you. All of that ghost lighting and all those things that he's done to you, baby, he is now getting it. Yes. And he wants to come over because there's mind fuckery going on over there in Comic Town. And anything that Divine Masculine is telling you is a bunch of lies because this next cloud that come out is mind fuckery. So if Divine Masculine coming back over there to you, fam, what it is lies, it's bullshit, and it's mind fuckery. He only wants to come back because in the comic community, there's a lot of fussing. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of calling the police over there in the comic community. Yes. There's also a lot of third parties. Okay. There's a lot of third parties. Person interfering romantically. Mm. Or non-romantically. So all of those feelings that ghost like that third part here, those entanglements, Divine Masculine is now feeling that from the comic. And he's also, baby, feeling that the comic is doing magic on him and the friends are tag teaming on the hate because this call comes out as friends seeking assistance from friends and others to do magic and tag team hate. Okay, so he's feeling that with the comic. And he's also feeling that the comic, he's envious of the comic. Yes, because the comic stay in an energy where she's having sex with others and she's in an energy where she's saying, let's go get a room. But it's not with you, Divine Masculine. It's with others. Yes. Mmm. And Divine Masculine is mad because that same sexual, that same sexual, seductive, lustful energy, it's not for him anymore. It's for those that's in the third party. It's for other men. And he's getting a little jealous with that. Mm-hmm. What else is he getting a little jealous with? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, he's getting a little jealous because now he's heartbroken. Mm-hmm. That same energy that he mirrored to you when he hurt you. Mm-hmm. And had you crying and going to the beauty supply store getting bald be gone because your hair was coming out, baby. He's now getting that feeling also. He's also getting that feeling where, yeah, he knows that 
the karmic has a lot of and he feels like he knows she has a lot of unwanted opinions about her third party situation because she's off the hook and she's moving on from him to others. So all of that energy where he was giving to you, baby, he's now getting it back. Yes. And not only is she not giving it to him, this next call that comes is, is she's showing everybody else what that mouth do. Jimmy and Lil Ray Ray and them too. She's showing everybody what that mouth do. Mm -hmm. And he mad. Because he can't talk to her about it. This next call that come out is full communicator. Every time he asks her about the third parties, she wants to fight. And get into domestic altercations. And live that psycho bitch life. Because she's bipolar. Mm-hmm. So we have the psycho card that comes out and the bipolar card that comes out. Mm -hmm. But she stay in divine feminist energy because she stay looking and lurking in the shadows trying to see what others do so she can copy their style. Yes. Mm -hmm. And since divine masculine been with this comic, she was never, ever, ever faithful to him she stayed in the energy where she's in an entanglement she stayed cheating she stayed being in affairs and third parties with others she stayed backstabbing him she keep him in an energy where he's going to the doctor and getting those shots shots shot, shots in his ass yeah and now Divine Masculine feels played, baby. You know that energy where he played you? Mm-hmm. He ghostlighted you? Mm-hmm. He's now in that energy where he's being played. <coughs> he's now chasing the karmic, okay? Because she's rejecting him. Mm-hmm. And he's so confused. Why is he being treated this way? Now he's feeling like, yeah, I have blood on my hands for the way that I treated Divine Feminine. Because I got a bra that's always party. I got a bra that's always in fake like energies. I got a bra that's toxic. Okay? That's what he got when he deal with the karmic. Okay, what else did he get? He got a crazy bitch that said, I will bust your windows out your car. And that ain't hey, that crazy bitch out there again. He got one of them bitches. I bust your window out your car kind of bitch. He got a bitch that stay in other people's bed now. She stay knee high private eye. We are looking for letters. We are looking for letters. Yes. She stay in the energy where she's all up and through. Being knee high private eye. All up in somebody else's business. Trying to find intelligence on another instead of minding her damn business worrying about herself. However, divine feminine on the other hand, is still unbothered. Still minding her business. Still winning. She's saying, haters, get on your job, haters. I'm so glad you're staying on your job. Mm. All of your hating, it impresses me, honey. Good job, girl. Keep it up. You got addictions. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm winning, says Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. And the comic saying, Yeah, I took your man. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Spiritual bells. Listen, comic saying, Yeah, I took your man. I was in an energy where I was jealous. Of your relationship. 
So I took your man. This next call is, I was jealous of your relationship. So I broke it up. Says, calm it. Mm, but that's a secret. Because the next call that comes out is, uh, I have many secrets. Yeah. Me and your masculine, we have many secrets together. And one of our secrets is, I know divine masculine is closet sneaky. We does those things together. This is how I got the masculine. Mm -hmm. So we got the secrets cap card, and then we got the closet sneaky. Okay? Because she's a manipulator. And this is what she has over Divine Masculine. That they like to do that nasty thing thing together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when she goes through her problems and Divine Masculine says, I'm leaving. She says, no, the fuck you ain't. You ain't sorry. I'm going to tell everybody your ass is gay. Mm. And everyone around her feels like this crazy bitch has burnt her bridges with everyone. Hmm. But Divine Masculine, he can't get out of that energy. But he stay in yours, girl. You see this one over here watching angrily behind the scenes. This one is watching angrily. Look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. This motherfucker is all in they feelings because you women. Look how mad they look. Damn, you mad, dude. You mad as shit. The next call come out is watching angrily behind the scenes. He mad, baby, because he made a, uh, he, he wanted to make a life with an immature bitch. He wanted to make a life with a bitch that got, that knows his secrets. He made a, a, he made a life with a bitch that does sex magic on him. He made a life with a bitch that sell her ass online for money. Mm-hmm. He made a life with a bitch that does black magic. And for that, him and that crazy bitch need to seek therapy, says Divine. Mm-hmm. What else is going on? What else do you want to tell us, Divine? Yes, baby. He see you over there, baby, with your money. Mmm, he looking at you funny. And Divine Feminine said, I'm continuing to look, baby, because what? You didn't want no committed. You haunted by the decision that you made with the comic, baby. You haunted. So we have Jackpot. This is how Divine Masculine looks at the feminine. Like she has money. Like she has wealth. Or it's coming to her. He and Divine Feminine is saying, go on with yourself, baby, because you ain't won no commitment with me. This is why you haunted by the decision that you made. You made this decision, and now you haunted by it, baby. And I know that your ass is played out. And you mad because you see me over here winning with my dollars. You see me winning with my money. And you mad because I'm running away from your ass because you and the comic are spiritual haters. She said, I know I am a dime piece. Mm-hmm. But now that the shit is happening to you, Magic, Divine Masculine, you wants to act like the victim. This is the playing victim call. Divine Feminist said, oh, now you sorry for what you did to me because it's happening to you. Now you playing victim. Don't deflect what you did to me. You cheated on me. You put me in a third party. You left me and went with the comment. I don't want to hear. So please continue to keep my name in your gutter ass mouth because you, you played with me. You picked a comic over me. I'm Divine Feminine. You don't know my work, but I do. Divine Feminine saying yes, and you, girl, I am sick of you and your damn comic friends over here with y'all magic and all the rest of y'all shit. I done had enough. Bitch, go take care of your damn kids. The next card that come out is Child and Family Services. Neglecting your kids. Divine Feminine said, instead of worrying about me, worry about your kids. 
worry about your kids saying all the damn fighting that y'all do in front of the kids. I know you sitting over here stagnant and stuck about what's going on with me. I know you got daddy issues. I know you look through the masculine phone to see if he's still talking to me. I don't want nothing to do with neither one of y'all. The fact that I'm winning, you stressed out, Divine Masculine. You crying over me because you choose the bitch that ain't nothing but sex. That's the broad you pick right here. That one. And guess what? I'm still unbothered about you and your bullshit. And that's facts. And along with those facts, that's the motherfucking T, says Divine Feminine. Because she know now that your ass got mental issues. This is why she is unfazed by you. And she also know that your ass is a drunk. And you stay intoxicated. This call come out is intoxicated. And she said you mad because you picked a thoughtful bitch over divine feminine. That always talk shit. And put you in a argument kind of energy, says Divine Feminine. Why else is he mad, baby girl? Why else is he mad? Why else is he mad, baby? He mad because he found out this bitch is a slick bitch. And now he holding a grudge on me because everybody found out that this bitch is a fraud. She a fraud-ass bitch. And she can't compare to me, says Divine Feminine. And both of y'all are haters. How about that? And Divine Feminine saying you all in your feelings because you got a promiscuous bitch that been with Lil Ron Ron and them all them. Yeah, that bitch was the one that you chose. The next card that comes out is promiscuous, sleeps around a hoe for free or receives money. Sleeps around with your man, her man, everybody's man. You mad because your bitch is a motherfucking spiritual happiness hater. You in denial that you picked the wrong bitch, says Divine Feminine. What else is you saying, Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine saying, keep your ass over there because I know you received your karma. Keep your ass over there because I know you gave me fake love straight up to my face. Keep your ass over there because you got a bitch that got personality disorders. This next card that come out is bipolar bitch. Keep your ass over there because I know she a bugaboo bitch. And I'm still sitting here unbothered. Because what you made a bad choice, says Divine Feminine. And I dropped the mic because Divine Feminine said, yeah, all that energy is good to know that all that energy you put me in, you getting it right back to you. I don't feel no sorry for your ass, says Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, yes, we about to get up out of here. How do you want the collective to move today? And the first card that come out, according to your faith, be unto you, says Matthew 9, 3, 9. And I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.